nor I asked for these tariffs. Um, I, in fact, I was surprised when they were announced. Um, you know, Tesla competes uh, quite well in the market in China uh, with no tariffs um, and uh, no differential support. Um, so, uh, I, in general, I'm, I'm in favor of, of no tariffs. Um, I'm, I'm also actually in favor of no um, uh, tax incentives uh, for EVs, but, but provided that there are also the tax incentives for oil and gas must also be eliminated. So I'm in favor of, of no tariffs and no incentives for electric vehicles or for oil and gas. And if, if they're all taken away, I think that would be for, for the best. Arjun is with me. You were at the same Q&A with Elon Musk last night. It was eventful, wasn't it? I pitched this question around the deliveries, actually, for a low-cost EV that the market's been wondering, is it coming to market? What's the timeline? I pitched that question along with the, whether there was a green light now because of these tariffs that the Americans are enacting on cheap EVs from China. Then the line went down. <laughs> so it was a so nervous wait. He didn't want to answer the question, Gary. Right. I mean, there was a, a moment where the, the crowd was saying, well, was that question too tough? And then eventually when he came back and you know, he didn't really want to talk about stock-specific news, played very nice, didn't he? Didn't really stray too far from a script. He was mostly ready to take questions about other elements around technology, not stock-specific news. But he gave us the answer around the, uh, the tariff side. And don't forget there's a lot at stake here, right? We've got EVs flooding in from China into various markets. The Americans are pushing back. But Tesla has a lot of operations in China. Exactly. It just go back to January, Elon Musk made some comments about trade barriers more broadly and he said that if, the, if there were no trade barriers on Chinese EVs, they would demolish the competition. And I think that underscored not just his fear, but actually the fear of the broader uh, auto sector in terms of the power, this pace of innovation, but also the price of some of these Chinese electric ve vehicles. Now, if you fast forward now, we've got these tariffs in place, but as you said, Tesla has a huge operation in China and some of the cars it sells globally, including in the US, do come from its Chinese Gigafactory in Shanghai. So that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out, whether actually the Gigafactory in the US and in Berlin, Germany, are going to do more of the heavy lifting when it comes to the cars that are being exported um, to the US as well. The self-driving technology is something that Elon Musk wants to bring to market. He wants to, to take that. You could tell in the commentary yesterday, this is one of his big goals, to have self-driving in some sort, whether it's on-road, in the air, with the robo-taxis. So that was fascinating. And 